is going on guys? I'm Poe, I'm on a skateboard, and that's Mellow. What's good? Um, bored as balls, this video is terrible, and my name's Poe. So I genuinely apologize for this video being complete ass, but it actually is complete ass. So enjoy watching this video that is complete ass. There, there's no point of it, there's no, I'm not doing anything, it's just I was sick and not feeling right, and that's what came out of it. Enjoy. So my truck right here, I'm just doing a little bit of work on it. I used to have the front end still a little bit taller, but one of the previous videos I have, I lowered it so, so I have better geometry up front. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking the blocks off the back. So I have two inch blocks on the back end of my truck right here. You can see that's a two inch block right there. And up there on the top of my truck, I have one inch blocks. They're actually Z71 Chevy lift blocks, which they work just as well. Chevy and Toyota parts are basically interchangeable when it comes to rear end parts. You can use the Chevy U-bolts as well as lift blocks because these blocks themselves are actually Chevy blocks too. So they're compatible. So what all you have to do if you're just taking blocks and lowering it, because a lot of people like to squat their truck, I'm not squatting it, I'm just making it sit level. But what, all you have to do is loosen these bolts just a little bit and you can lift that up with a jack. You can see right there, I have it, the leaf lifted up by the jack. And now I can lift up this block and move it right out of my way. So the two inch block is gone. And now I get to put a one inch block back in. This is not hard work, you just gotta take the time to do it. If I wasn't filming, it would take about 15 minutes altogether. And these are the Chevy lift blocks. These are just Z71 off of a stock Z71 truck that got lifted that I've gotten these from lifting other buddies trucks. I'm gonna go down here, put this lift block in. You put that side facing down and it's gonna fall right inside of the hole on your frame. So just make sure that's in there good and tight. Then this nipple right here, I'm just gonna call it a nipple, is gonna go inside of that nipple hole right there and they gotta line up. That's gonna be the hardest part is lining those up. If worse come to worse, then I use a ratchet strap on the axle right here and I just tie it to the receiver hitch right here and it pulls that back because usually when you lower it down with the ratchet, the wheel will fall forward. So what you gotta do is just pull the axle back a little bit and then once you do that, it should be super easy and fall right into place. All right, so I'm using these studs for these U-bolts and I wanna use these ones because they're strong reinforced and they're brand new. They, they've only been used with those two inch blocks for a little bit. So I'm gonna cut these right about here so I can get a deep socket on there and they're also not hanging as far down from the axle. All right, so I cut those bolts off right here and holy crap, they're hot. All right, I cut those bolts off, the ones that I tried to pick up were hot. Uh, got those tightened back up. There is a, now a Z71 lift kit for a Chevy on my Tacoma. Now I just got to do that other side right there because I have a two inch lift right there. So I'll get that done and then the truck will be sitting right again. See that dent? That thing's annoying. Don't like that. So what, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix it. Toyotas happen to have these guys right here and on this side I already took mine out and this is wired up to a separate switch I have for inside of my bed right here. So Light turns on. Just go right there and find where the dent is and I'll just be able to punch that out. All right, simple as that. Like I said, 30 minutes later, truck now sits level, dent is gone. What I'm gonna do now is take the truck and put new tie rod ends on it because like I said before, the truck was super bouncy. It's because my front end is completely not aligned. So I got new tie rods for it. I just gotta put them on the truck. And once they're on the truck, then I'll be able to drive around. So my truck's been out of alignment for a long time. Right now I'm getting my tie rods set up. It finally looks straight. Still needs a little bit of work. There's some camber of course, but I'm just gonna get the toe out of it, which is this part right here. Just eye lining it right now, making it straight. I mean, like I said, I'm getting tie rods within the next day. I'm getting those delivered to me. I'm just eye lining it so I can drive it down the road without having any vibrations and seriously do not recommend doing this if you're cross-eyed you loosen this bolt right here on your tie rod and then you spin the tie rod right here with a wrench and then the tire moves in and out it's actually pretty simple this right here is a remedy you can use it's just a string and all I'm gonna do here is wrap it around every single tire and if I do that then I'll be able to tell look at the lines and the straighter the line is the straighter your alignment's gonna be all right so I got this string tied up right here and as you can tell I am definitely out of alignment. I over adjusted. So now this tire is currently pointing this way, like so, which is too much. So I gotta line that back up straight. And once I do that, it'll put it back forward and it'll be able to drive straight. Now this side right here, it actually seems to be looking pretty straight. It's touching on both sides and the line is also straight as well. 
that's the thing you want to see is the line being straight with both sidewalls of the tire in comparison to there it could actually probably come out just a little bit i'm going to do that here in just a second and then we'll test it after that all right <laughs> eye sickness all right so austin red truck toes everyone everywhere and never breaks down he got a thick thing his new truck austin what is it six liter it's a six liter which means the head gaskets are blown so he is doing the head gaskets there's the turbo motor is up down there it's supposed to be up there but it's down there cabs up there but motors down there see this is one of those like bluetooth body lifts one of those like four foot body lift it's it's new style right so we got to go to harbor freight pick up the tools and then you're gonna take those heads off you're gonna get them machined aren't you you're gonna clean they're gonna gauge them and if they're working they'll resurface them. okay maybe resurface but hopefully not because that'd be cheapest so let's go get those tools that we need and we'll be back. Hey, you're not supposed to be down there! Hey, something tells me a Holly High Ram Corvette. Look at it! It's on radials. It's got a Holly High Ram and no hood, just like Ruby, but just, it doesn't have a turbo. Dude, apparently you can get a large ice cream cone at the chicken filet, and this is the large size ice cream cone that you get at the chicken filet. It's pretty smelly. I got my ice cream cone, and he's got an ice cream cone. Yeah. Get it. Uh-huh. Love it. Oh, he was still licking his cone. Look at that sheep. You see it? Look at that sheep right there. It's in the air. Wow. Oh, that's a pretty fat dent. That just pulled it out, dude. That totally just pulled it <laughs> out. Little part to pull the there's rest a little, out. there's a little part, but it pulled that most of that out. Golly. Got as much out as it could. Heck yeah. It looks a lot better. So, I got an idea. <laughs> Landon's over there in the road, and here's a tow strap. All right, so our tow rig's right here. I put this shackle on it, and uh. You want to ride it? No. Are you sure? <laughs> All right, so we got this hooked around the nose right here and that hooked there. This is not going to be good. Oh my gosh. I'm scared. Like I am actually scared. I'm scared for you. <laughs> We've got to straighten it. Do not kill me no matter what you do. <laughs> hey, it's color matched. <laughs> color matched go kart. It sure is, dude. All right, here's my keys, phone, wallet. All right, let's do this. The rubber's off the tires, so now it's a drifter. It's about to be a lot more fun. Yes! <laughs> 
The wheel fell off over there. Oh, it did. Dang it. We can ride at home. <laughs> so whatever, we'll just ride at home. Golly. Well, it was fun while we had it. My neighbors hate us. They literally just stopped us for having cars parked out front. We got Camaro, truck, car, bike, truck, truck. These neighbors that are pulling in right now literally hate me because of this. This thing's so clean, Ben. Why don't you tell me a wee bit about it? We've never seen it before. 2013, uh, Jigs 750. It'll do more. for watching that video if you got to this point then you're a real MVP because this video like I said is complete ass and thank great. you for watching <laughs> <laughs>